let's get started using Intermapper Flows. Once you've installed Intermapper on the server, Intermapper Flows is automatically installed. Enter your registration key, and then go to your Start menu and select Intermapper Control Center. You'll need to start the Flows service. It's not started automatically at install time. Now you're ready to configure exporters to start sending data to Intermapper Flows from your managed switches. We have several items on our website. that link to configuration instructions for flows. This page has links to Cisco NetFlow configuration as well as Juniper configuration. The forum section on the website also has links to other equipment vendors and software-only NetFlow exporter packages. So back to our map. Once you've got your exporter configured, create a map and add that device to it. So we'll create a new map. We're going to use the manual entry to create this map. We're just going to put the one device on it. And here you can either put the host name or the IP address of your switch. We'll add that. And now Intermapper will go out using its automatic probe, find that IP address and find that device and put it on the map. As soon as we get a green light here, we'll know that Intermapper has found that device. We take a look at it on the map. You'll notice here it's got this little badge down in the left-hand corner. That's an indication that there is an exporter installed on that device. Now you can right-click on it, change it to Show in Flows window. And now you've got your NetFlow data that's going through that switch. Up here we've got the data in a flow chart. Down below we've got a table of the top 25 talkers. You can also look at the top ports that are being used and the top sessions that are kept in our database. If you click on this Settings button, give you a little bit more information. Over here we've got the exporters that are defined. So if you've got multiple ones, you'll see them here. Here's where you can enable or disable those switches. Um, also under Advanced, when Intermapper creates a database for Intermapper Flows, it will create a 10 gig database. So here's where you can change that if that's something that you want to do. So that's kind of it. Intermapper Flows is up and running. Uh, hopefully it was a painless install.